hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's topic i'll be giving you a brief explanation regarding blood group and the ratios d system or the ratios d factor so if you are someone who don't yet know your blood group you can equally go to the hospital or maybe when you are sick and you definitely have to give out blood or they want to do you blood extraction you can equally request from the doctor so that the doctor can check your blood group or your ratios d factor so it's very important for you to know your blood group because you need to be able to know in case of an emergency or in case of a surgery or in case if you want to do blood donation definitely you need to be aware of your blood group but if you don't know definitely before they carry out such procedure they always double check to make sure they are not doing the wrong thing and secondly for someone if you want to determine a paternity test like to know if this person is the father of my child or if this person is your father stuffs like that they also run a blood group test and also a ratio D factor and also there are many other things they are going to check so that is how you can easily determine them so your blood group would depends on the kind of genes you receive from your parents it varies from one individual to another when they talk of blood group there are four different types of blood group but when we come to the ratios D system we'll be talking about eight that is I don't know if I'm putting my fingers correctly we'll be talking about eight different types of blood group system when we are talking with base to the ratios d factors but if it's just blood group we'll be talking about four different types of blood group but before i get into that let me first of all explain what the blood group is so on our red blood cell you have stuffs known as antigen these antigens are marker these are the antigens present here so these are the antigen this is an antigen and here this is an antibody so an antigen is any foreign substance in the body it could be a virus it could be a microbe it could be a bacteria anything of sort something that is not normally supposed to be in the body is considered as a foreign particle which is known as an which is known as an antigen then an antibody is a proton present in the plasma of red blood cell which helps to fight this antigen so let's take for example in the layman's world and antibodies are like amines that are present in the body they help to fight any infection or anything that is foreign in the body so that's the difference between an antigen and an antibodies so when we go now to the different types of blood group you have four different types of blood group but when we are talking about the ratios d factors we are talking about eight different types of blood group so but let's first of all get into it the different types of blood group blood group we have blood group a we have blood group b then we have blood group a b and we have blood group o so when we talk about these different types of blood group we need to also know the kind of antigen and the kind of antibodies these different types of blood groups have when it comes to antigen let me take for antigen someone with blood group a will have the same type of antigen same as a the kind of antigen they will have will be the same someone having blood group b will have the same type of anti antigen someone having blood group a b will have the same type of antigen that is a b now someone having blood group o will have no antigen they are completely empty they have no antigen then let's go now for the part of antibodies the kind of antibodies they are going to have let's take antibodies for antibodies someone having a blood group a will have the opposite types of antibody why is it so they are supposed to have the opposite type of antibody so that this antibody will not be able to recognize this antigen remember i told you antigen are foreign particles or substance in the body in which these antibodies your main function is to fight against them so for this fight not to occur the kind of antibody someone with a blood group a will be having will be opposite so someone having um, a blood group a will have the opposite type of antibodies which is b so with this b it will be able to live in harmony with the antigen a because together they are not the same someone with blood group b will have antibody a 
someone with blood group AB has no antibody in their blood group so they will have no antibody then someone now having blood group A will have antibody AB in their blood group so that is how it's looking like then now when it comes to blood transfusion someone having a blood group A cannot give blood to someone having blood group B why because this person with blood group B has an antigen B and an antibody A so this antibody A is will react with the antigen A so definitely that's why someone with blood group A cannot help someone with blood group B in case when it comes this person is in need of blood transfusion so but someone having a blood group ab is a universal recipient they don't have any antibody so they can receive from someone with blood group a blood group b blood group o there'll be no reaction why because coming in here there is no antibody then for someone with blood group o these people are universal donor they can give blood group to all these different types of blood group they can give blood group to blood group a blood group b blood group ab but at the other hand they can only take blood from someone with blood group o because if they do receive blood from someone with blood group a this blood group a is going to react with their antibodies someone with blood group b will react with their antibodies and someone having blood group a b they have antigen a b which will react with their antibodies that's why someone with blood group o can only collect blood from someone having the same blood group but they can equally give blood to everyone because they don't have antigen and they can only collect from blood group o because they have antibody a b so these are just the simple difference then now when it comes to the ratios factor let's go to ratios factor so this there are different types of antigen present in the blood group in the red blood cell so this ratios d factor is another type of antigen present in the red blood cell for example let's take this as our red blood cell so this antigen present is um, the ratios d antigen so you can be ratios d positive and as well as you can be ratios d negative so so let's go back to our different types of blood group remember i said we have four different types of blood group so when it comes to blood group blood group we have blood group a blood group b blood group a b and blood group o so these are the normal blood groups we have then let's go now to the ratios factors this is a short form of how to write a ratios blood group so you write ratios d positive but before i get into it many people are mostly ratios positive as compared to the ratios negative rate so you have the ratios d positive and the ratios d negative the ratios d negative individuals are less are lesser as compared to the ratios d positive individuals so this is it so someone having a blood group a can be ratios positive and also this another person having blood group a can equally be ratios negative someone having blood group b can be maybe <coughs> the person can be ratios b positive or ratios b negative another person with blood group a b can can either be a b positive or a b negative then another person with blood group o can be o negative at times o sorry o positive and o negative so when we talk of the ratios factor how do you determine your ratios factor before you want to know your ratios factor you first of all need to know the kind of blood group you have like i already explained we have four different types of blood group this adding we have four different types of blood group 
so in these four different types of blood group let me just quote for example i'm blood group a so if i'm blood group a i need to determine am i ratios positive or ratios negative so i can be blood group a and a positive meaning i'm blood group a and i'm ratios d positive that means when it comes to this antigen when it comes to the d antigen i'm positive for it for another individual the individual can be blood group a and this individual is negative for this ratios d factor so that kind of a person the kind of blood group they will say is that that person is a negative negative as a result of the ratios d meaning this person has no ratios d antigen in their blood group then for blood group b you can equally be blood group b positive or blood group b negative so if someone say you are blood group b positive it's showing you are positive for the ratios d antigen and if your blood group b negative is showing you are negative for the ratios d antigen so that's just how it goes then for blood group a b positive is showing the person is positive for the d factor and if the person is negative the person is negative for the ratios d antigen and same for O blood group if the person is positive meaning this person is equally positive for the ratios d positive blood group let me just give you details this is my blood group actually so i'm o positive i'm o ratios positive so that's how you determine it and the importance for you to know your blood group system i'm going to explain it at the end of this topic why it's very important for you to know your ratios d factor it's very important so it's not just about you knowing your blood group when you know your blood group someone might ask you okay you are blood group b are you ratios positive or are you ratios negative so you need to be able to tell that person um blood group b ratios positive for the antigen or your blood group a ratios negative for that antigen so that is how it, it is so that's why when we are talking of the ratios d system we break down the the four type of blood group into eight types which is this it will go down into the eight type this is it so if we are talking of blood group we will just be talking about this but when we come now to determine the ratios factor in the blood group you need to know if you are either positive for the ratios factor or you are negative for this ratios factor so i'm going to be explaining why it's very important for you to know your ratios factor especially as a woman okay so i'm going to explain why is it important for you to know your ratios d system why can you not just know your blood group and stay like that why is it very important like you need to know if you are a positive if you are a positive or you are a negative or if you are o positive or o negative why is it very important for you to know the ratios factor in your blood group so the importance of it it's um, particularly for ladies for those that are pregnant for example let me say a mother is pregnant and she's ratios negative and maybe the father of the child is ratios positive or maybe the baby turns out to be ratios positive let me take for example the, the father is o positive so in this situation when the lady is pregnant when she's about to give birth the first baby they will have they will antigen from this and this is going to mix up so definitely the mother's the, the mother's body is going to build up an antibody this antibody will be to fight this opposite type of antigen so an antibody is going to be built up in the mother's body when this antibody is built up the first baby is going to survive it because that's just the first encounter that's why if you are sick of a disease let me say for example you're being infected with something um, let me say for example the coronavirus your body is going to receive that virus and your body is going to build up a defense mechanism which are antibodies this these antibodies are there to fight that infection so eventually let me say these antibodies they fought the infection and everything was normal they are prepared your body has already antibody to recognize that particular type of virus in case in future you are infected with that particular kind of virus your body is already prepared because they already have amines that are there to fight that particular virus it's not something new so that is the same case for a lady who is ratios 
negative and gives birth to a racial positive baby the the mother's body is going to develop antibodies these antibodies will be there so in the encounter now of a second baby these antibodies are going to enter the baby's blood and definitely start causing clotting because the mother already has antibodies for that these antibodies were developed as a result of the first baby during the the, the 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 birth of the first baby the mother's blood enters the baby's blood or the baby's blood came in contact with the mother's blood that's how the mother was able to build up these antibodies and we all know the function of antibodies they will fight any foreign substance that they see in the body so in the second pregnancy now when this positive antigen is coming out the mother's antibodies are going to fight it which will be very fertile for the baby so it's going to lead to blood clotting and agglutination but now with recent technology this has been solved normally when a lady is pregnant they are going to check her blood group in case they find that the ratios factors are not aligning or they are not compatible there is usually a medication that a gynecologist is going to give the mother to prevent this kind of a reaction from taking place so that is it that's why it's very important for you to know your blood group and your ratios d factors so if you have been watching without definitely liking or subscribing what are you waiting for kindly share this video and don't forget to subscribe like and in case you have any doubt or any question kindly drop a comment below because i know this topic at times can be a little bit kind of confusing so just drop some um any comment you have down and definitely i'm going to explain it thanks for watching and remember i love you all ciao